If you happen to grow up with a sibling, which I did not, which I know that's a good thing or not, but you know that sometimes there can be a little sparring that takes place. Well, rivalry. Kelly, Kelly Olson from the Village Family Service Center in Moorhead is here to share with us how to recognize the difference between like normal bickering and then, you know, when it's time to intervene. Good morning. Good morning. Wow, because there is a difference, isn't there? Well, just, yes, yeah. and, and definitely this can be a very stressful time for the, everyone involved, including the kids that are fighting, but the parents as well. Parents get very frustrated and very stressed out by the constant bickering that siblings can do. It can be very stressful. And why is that? I mean, some people used <clears> to <throat> say, oh, it's because you're so close in age or... But I don't, I don't know. think it matters. No? I don't really think it matters. I mean, I think all siblings will mm -hmm. argue at times and um, sometimes worse than others. And I think it you know, depends on what's happening in your family because there's all different kinds of developmental phases that the kids are going through and the family is going through as well that kind of exacerbate things. Like for instance, you think about um, a two-year-old. Two-year-old doesn't want to share any toys. And so if they get a brand new baby, um, and the baby's you know, causing problems and wanting toys or whatever, that's gonna cause problems. Or if you think about an adolescent, the adolescent totally wants their room to themselves, privacy, wants to just kind of bunker down in their room, and you have a 10-year-old going in their room and bugging them, that's going to cause problems. And so I don't know that it has to be about closeness. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's, it just happens. There's a lot of sibling conflict. Different stages <clears throat> in mm -hmm. the child's life. Yes. Okay. Yes. How much is it just trying to get a parent's attention? You know, I think siblings are just an annoyance to each other. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Um, some of it is to get attention, definitely. There's all, there's all kinds of different theories out there for it, and behavior always has a function. Um, but it is a, a playing ground for developing um, how to cope, um, how to resolve problems and stuff. And so although sibling conflict is absolutely annoying to us as parents and to the other people in the family, it is a part of life, it's normal, and it's not necessarily bad. Now, circum certain circumstances, probably when we're not home and we have a babysitter or something like that, um, we hear about circumstances where safety is in jeopardy. Those are not good and normal things. I mean, they are normal, but they're not good. Yeah. So when a, if a fight erupts <laughs> or a bickering, um, mm -hmm. w what should you do first? Because I know that even separating mm -hmm. siblings can help a little bit. Well, you know, it, it is good for kids to have time apart. Um, because they definitely can get s totally sick of each other. For instance, as soon as you get into summer, um, most parents have troubles right away with their kids because they're not used to being with each other. They're, they're used to being in school all day, and now all of a sudden they're with each other 24-7. And so that can be very hard. And so one of the, the best tricks is to kind of get them some alone time, some separate time apart, you know, whether it be different activities, Putting them up, you know, it's funny how kids will always line up across from each other at the restaurant and there's kicking and there's, you're kicking my feet and whatever <laughs> else. And it's like, oh, you know, just be smarter about how you place your kids at the dinner table or activities. You know, maybe mom takes one kid out, dad takes the other kid out for special individual time. There's ways to kind of get them away from each other for a while because, you know, absence makes the heart grow fonder for at least a couple seconds when they come back. <laughs> yeah, my family members did that recently too. She said, <clears throat> my sister separated her two kids at an event we were at. One was yep. in one pew with me and my child. Yeah. The, other was <laughs> the other was behind with mom and dad. And it was much better, right? Well, yeah, it was fine. Yeah. It was just fine. <laughs> Not that they were going to do anything, but I think they were taking precautions. Right. And yeah. sometimes it's nice too to have one sibling go, one child go to grandma's house or auntie's house or whatever at a time because it kind of separates them out for Special a little time. while. Yes. Okay. Much more on this topic when we come back with Kelly Olson.